Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. This is Unit 1, Lesson 4, Parallelograms. The objective says I can use reasoning strategies and what I know about the area of a rectangle to find the area of a parallelogram that's not a rectangle. Rectangles are parallelograms, and so we're looking at parallelograms that are not in that rectangular form, that don't have those four 90-degree angles. The problem says decompose and rearrange this parallelogram to make a rectangle. Well, I know that decompose means to take apart. It means to cut it into pieces. So I'm going to cut off that triangular piece that's on the left, and I'm going to rearrange it. Rearrange means to take the pieces that you have and change their position or order. All I have to do is slide that rectangle over to the right, and you can see I can create a rectangle um, out of those two pieces. So again, cut off that uh, triangle, by uh, decompose it in other words, and then rearrange it to create that rectangle. Then I can see that I have a rectangle that's five units high and nine units wide. So there's 45 squares that would be inside of that rectangle, um, meaning that I would have a, a, an area of 45 square units. So then the question is, what is the area of the parallelogram? Explain your reasoning. Well, you can see that this rectangle and this parallelogram have the exact same parts. So it doesn't matter if I've taken that piece and shifted it, decomposed and rearranged and moved it, it is made of the exact same amount of stuff. I've not taken anything away, I've not added anything to it, I've just decomposed and rearranged. I cut off a piece, changed its position. So I have the exact same amount of stuff, whether it looks like this parallelogram that's not a rectangle, or whether it looks like this parallelogram that is a rectangle. So there's the exact same amount of stuff. So if the area of that rectangle is 45 square units, then the area of this parallelogram that's made up of the same parts is also 45 square units. So what I wrote is after decomposing or taking off a triangular piece on the left and rearranging it by moving that triangle to the right, I created a rectangle that is five units high and nine units wide. The newly formed rectangle is made of exactly the same parts as the parallelogram, so each has an area of 45 square units, no matter how I rearrange the parts. The objective says I can use reasoning strategies and what I know about the area of a rectangle to find the area of a parallelogram that is not a rectangle. Well, if I can decompose and rearrange it into a rectangle, those parts are exactly the same. So the area would be the same, whether it appears to be that rectangle or if I've rearranged it and it looks like a parallelogram, that's not a rectangle. Thanks for watching.